Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can send the post request using the Karate framework. So first of all, I'm going to create one more package for the post request. So just do a right click on the top level package and create a new package. And this package is just for the grouping purpose. Inside this package, first I'm going to add a feature file. Inside this feature file, I'm going to use the feature keyword followed by the short title and description. Then I will create the background section which will initialize the base URL. So given URL which is a keyword from the Karate framework followed by the base URL. Then I'm going to create this scenario. Given keyword followed by the path keyword and the context path for the post request. Now I need to specify the request body. To specify the request body, I'm going to use one more keyword which is coming from the Karate framework that is the request keyword. So this keyword is going to attach the request body along with the request. So here you need to specify the request body and it should be in a single line. So this is our request body in JSON format. After that, I need to attach the headers. So in our previous case, when we were sending the request, we had only one header. That's why we were using header keyword. Now in this case, we have multiple headers. One is the accept header and the second one is the content type. So I'm going to use one more keyword that is headers keyword. So this keyword is used when you want to attach multiple headers along with the request. And then you need to specify the header in the form of key value pair. comma and the second header. Then I'm going to send the request. For that I will use the when keyword method post. As this is a post request, that's why I use the keyword post. In our previous case, we use the method get. And then I will validate the status code. So then status should be 201. And then I will validate the response body also. So in our case, we are getting the response body. I will just validate the title and match response dot. Now, if you look at our response, we are getting the response as single JSON object. So I can use dot operator to reach to any of the property. So I will use response dot job title and this should be equal to this value. So when we were sending the get request, we were getting the response in the form of JSON array. That's why we need to use the index. After this, I'm going to create the runner. So let me create a copy of this runner here. And let me rename it to post runner. And then I will add this feature file to our runner. Along with the validation, let me print the response also. So for that, I will use the print method followed by the response keyword. And let me run this runner. So our request is successful. Let me send the get request using the postman.
okay so this is the entry which we just created in the similar manner you can send the request with the data which is in XML format so I'll just create one more scenario for that again the steps will remain same only the request body and the header will change So this is our request body. As I mentioned earlier, we need to specify the request body in a single line. And then I will change the content type header to application slash XML. Now, as we are receiving the response in the JSON format, so I can use this matcher for the validation. And let me run the runner okay our both the scenario are passing let me send the get request from the postman and now we should see the entry for job ID with 7 okay this is the entry now let me create a duplicate copy of this scenario in this scenario, I'm going to receive the data in the XML format. So I'll just update the header and update the job ID also. Now in this case, we need to change our matcher. So the matcher will be response keyword forward slash job forward slash job ID. And let me run the runner all the three scenario are passing and this is the response in the XML format